What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to War Robots 2018, guys, with modules, armor penetration, and resistances coming to your War Robots as an additional layer of customization and playstyle, okay? Um, yeah, so there was a large interview yesterday on Facebook from Pigzonic with the lead game designer and the community manager, these two champs right here. And uh, if you want to find it and watch it yourself, you can do it. I link it to the video description and comments. It's here on the Facebook official webpage, uh, or uh, official. Facebook page down there is the interview. It's a 15 minute long video and uh, here is some information on the um, You know war robots web page about modules as well But a lot more was in this interview and since it was 15 minute long I thought it's a good thing to try to bring one video compressed format my goal today is to break it down into a 20 minute long video but still giving you all the information possible hopefully that will work <laughs> let's see so um thanks for making this interview guys your feedback ladies and gentlemen you out there watching this video your feedback is very important about this pigsonic is asking for this on multiple places on this video um so please go on either to the facebook page and give your feedback there or do it in the comment section of my video here because if this is a good video here maybe pigsonic will be using you know some of this also as an input source for feedback so try to bring your feedback also in the comments here and uh, about every single thing that you hear here and that you want to comment on okay so these here are a few examples of uh, modules already uh, we don't know what they are They're just some 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 concept art pictures and it's important to stress that most of these things are still just talked through its concept it's not yet finished or fully you know uh, planned it's just what they are thinking and doing right now and some of the goals that they're trying to pursue for the year 2018 and beyond okay so, um, I already told you guys, modules, armor resistance, and armor penetration are coming to War Robots. Um, as an example, you may already know the Falcon Bot, which has a lot of armor resistance against every type of weapon damage, you know? And uh, and that there, there can be resistances against only rocket damage, against only energy weapon damage, or projectile kinetic weapon damage. That's resistances, and the same is armor penetration, basically. That is the counter side from resistance, where you give your weapon more effectiveness against... Um, a, a, with weapons that have projectile weapons or p uh, kinetic weapons and stuff like that, okay? And modules as well, and uh, of course there is, um, like I said, it's a work in um, progress, nothing solid right now, but um, that's what they're working on. And they have mentioned three mid-term goals they're trying to work towards with all this, okay? One is broaden the variety of builds, all right? Releasing more weapons, for example, that's my example interpretation, uh, to synchronize combat styles. For example, you have already seen it, Aphid Vortex Thermite, right? You now have the same type of weapon on all weapon and placement categories light medium heavy and you can go across different playstyles different robots and adjust your playstyle more to what you like whether no matter what type of robot you want to play right now you can still go for it and um or alternatively uh, the, do the opposite of synchronizing go completely wild on different setups right and this is one of the things they're working on and of course the modules come into play to achieve that as well and uh, broaden the meta of hangar setups haichi bulgazari dominance at first then the inquisitor was added right then the Spectre was added. Now we have more robots dominating uh, the battlefields, not just one or two. And we have the Fury and Regine as older robots now starting to dominate with a new weapon Dragoon or also with the Ember, right? Um, the Bulwark is gonna come. The Falcon is coming. So uh, there's gonna be a, a, a much more broad variety of setups that will be used on the battlefield. It's not just gonna be the Haichi which, or Bulgazari Shock Trade, which you're seeing right now, or at least that's one of the goals they're going to work towards and bringing more skill-based opinion uh, options like Hellburner ability, okay? Like the Raven with a multiple jump, mid-air jump that you can do a mid-air direction change with a jump where skill is going to pay off to evade room rockets and stuff like that, okay? And uh, of course, the big thing to also achieve these things, to give you an extra layer of customization for your robot and playstyle is modules, all right? That's the big thing. You can see some more examples right here. Uh, by the way, if you haven't seen the video yet uh, that I made two days ago or something about the uh, also Roadmap 2018 Workshop 2.0, a new update, and the healing support robots, Mender and Wayland, then click the I button in the upper right corner of the screen. You're going to get right to that video because I'm not going to cover the information again in this one. I'm focusing on uh, modules, armor penetration, and resistance in this video. And if you want to know about the uh, healing support, 
bots, for example, and Workshop 2.0, you need to click that video up there and check it out too, because it's, I think, very important information as well. So here's some, uh, you know, some armor. That looks like, like some kind of armor plating, probably a defensive module. This could be uh, some kind of shield or some kind of stealth or some kind of engine boost. Yeah, maybe an engine boost of 10%. Stuff like that, okay? That's modules for you guys. And um, yeah, let's go and uh, keep going here. I, I Yesterday I sat down two hours to get uh, write all the information down. Basically, modules increase variety of setups and widen the possibilities to make your robot fit your playstyle, okay? And a few facts that I've summarized from the live stream. Um, there are three classes of modules. Offensive, defensive, and specials, okay? More about this later. These three classes divide into four types. Buffs, proc effects, passive abilities, and active abilities, okay? So basically, um, you have a buff is like uh, okay, you know more about this later. Let's just go with the facts first Every robot has module slots multiple ones not just one module slot You will be able to fit multiple module slots on top of it and um, and yeah more about this later as well Modules can be upgraded obviously they get better when you upgrade them longer duration on certain abilities or more You know percentage of effect bonus robots will have certain default modules built in right not the best ones Maybe but they're still there giving you effect and same as your weapons you buy a robot you have certain default weapons on it same goes for the modules at the beginning introducing modules robots can have one to four additional modules all right and uh, modules will be upwards downwards compatible so you will be able to use new modules with the oldest ro robots or the other way around okay and oops uh, module slots are different tap on your bot setups okay it has nothing to do with weapons right now you have a tap with your four weapons on the griffin and there will be an additional tab that you can click on. This will look like this and uh, that will then dis display your modules that you have on your robot. Attack modules, defense modules, defense modules and a special for example that the Rogatka has, okay? So, um, and this will be a separate layer. It does have nothing, nothing to do with your weapons. And, um, all mod modules work on all game modes and multiple modules or, you know, that's at least what they have said here. Um, modules uh, of the same effect will stack. So if you have a module that makes your bot more tanky, more armor resistance, for example, then you can add a separate another module on the second slot with a defensive module and do the same. They will stack, so you will get more armor resistance off it. All right, they only stack to a certain extent, though. Maybe you can you know, to put twice uh, a spy module on your robot that will give you a certain stealth ability and it makes it twice as long, I think that may not stack. But, you know, certain things stack, certain things won't stack. Um, but yeah, so not 100% sure yet, but critical hits can also damage modules, right? Like weapons can be damaged when you have a low HP bot. Same can happen to mod modules, probably. Not sure. Uh, robots with modules that have a special ability would get, will get separate buttons to activate them in battle. For example, you're running a stalker with a stealth ability button and you have a, a, a repair drone on your robot as well. I'm not sure if that is even possible, but you know, just as an example, then you will have a separate button coming into your head up display that will allow you to activate the repair drone when you need it, okay? So, modules are divided into three classes now i told you before more about this later now we're coming to the later part uh three classes offensive defensive and special modules M offensive modules can be for example more damage output simply just 10 percent more damage for example okay or better sniping abilities or something like this um defensive modules can be your bot is gonna get more tanky a lancelot for example i think has two defensive slot use uh, uh, slot modules. <laughs> what uh, module slots um, um, let's call them slodules, why not? Um, and uh, they will, uh, you know, you can make them this bot a lot more tanky with this. And, uh, or be able to take, you know, take more damage before you get a critical hit. Maybe you have a module that prevents critical hits from happening, so you will have all your weapons till the end, no matter how much damage you have taken. This could be also a defensive module, right? Um, or defensive passive effects. Because let's go, we see this coming down here. And then specials coming as well. I also have some special examples down here, I just haven't added them here um, and then these three classes offensive defensive and special will divide into four more types there is 
buffs like plus 10% HP, plus 10% speed, plus 10% weapon damage, for example, right? And there will be proc effects. Maybe you have heard this word, uh, th these words before in certain role-playing games. World of Warcraft, for example, you have a weapon, uh, the, the, the Storm Ruler Sword, for example, or whatever, that has a certain proc chance to cause an extra damage or whatever, or some, some whirlwind, whatever, right? Uh, you know, those kind of things that have a chance to hit with this ability. So it doesn't mean that you hit, you do 10 hits and you will have definitely procced it once, but it will say that there is, for example, a 10% chance that you will trigger a certain special effect on hit with your weapon. For example, you can silence the abilities of your enemy. He will, your enemy won't be able to dash or use special abilities like stealth. That's a silence, all right? You couldn't also get this word back from the, back in the days from World of Warcraft to silence abilities. As an example, then rude targets uh, make them stationary, make them unable to move for a certain amount of time. This could be a proc effect that is on your weapon or on your module. Um, disarm weapons, right? You could disarm your enemy with a with a certain chance. And, um, you know, this is also dependent on dealing damage. So a certain amount of damage has a certain amount of chance. So the more damage you do, the better the chance to, to do these proc effects. Or alternatively, maybe on hit, a Punisher does 8.3 bullets per second, so you have a much higher chance to achieve this proc. Maybe this is one of the things you can make it happen to. Not entirely sure if it's dependent on the bare damage output or on every single hit. A shotgun hits multiple times with one hit, right? A good chance to proc? I don't know, this is the stuff that we still need to figure out. Um, passive abilities are, um, are the next type, uh, where you have, uh, like when you get the last hit on your robot, um, and the robot, your, your robot would now be destroyed. It was your last hit, you're down, okay? There is going to be a passive ability, or passive module, that makes it so that you are not dying from that last hit, right? The aphid, boom, hits you, you're now dead, but you're not dead, you will get a second chance, you get a three second invulnerability, invincibility, where you can't be destroyed, and after these three seconds, you're gonna be left alive with one HP. Okay, so um, that's a passive ability, for example, that will uh, happen. And by the way, proc effects can also be on your weapons directly. There will be weapons with built-in proc effects, not just modules. Um, and then there's going to be active abilities at the fourth type, uh, like an orbital strike, for example. And, uh, you know, the lead game designer actually mentioned StarCraft here and uh, uh, the ghost unit from StarCraft. You remember the ghost unit where you, you set, he's, he's cloaked or stealthed, right, or whatever, and you have like a, a laser beam at a certain location. And it makes a sound across the map. Everyone noticed that. That there's a certain nuclear strike or, or orbital strike coming. And if you're not, at, you know, paying attention well, you don't look where the, uh, you know, the indicator is, where the ability, will the uh, orbital strike will come down, then you may get fully hit by that a few seconds later, right? And also it will have a uh, friendly fire. So everyone in this orbital strike or air strike will be caught in the explosion. So everyone has to pay attention to that, not just your team. And, and not just the enemy team, I mean. Um, so yeah, this is uh, one of these active abilities examples. So robot module setup examples, ladies and gentlemen. A for attack offensive modules, D for defensive modules, S for special, okay? So the Destrier, for example, will have one offensive mod module, one defensive, and zero um, special abilities. It's the starting bot. It's a rookie bot, right? It, it's not meant to actually be used in combat. So it's just to learn a little bit about the game. Then the Patton will have one offensive slot, two defensive slot, and one special slot, okay? The Lancelot will have two active or... Sorry, not active. Attack slots or uh, offensive slots. One defensive slot and one special slot. Rogatka will have one, uh, two offensive and two defensive slots, okay? So uh, these are just examples, may not even be 100% what they rep represent, but just to make you understand how this will look like later, okay? And then we have uh, these predefined, oh, these predefined layouts will allow Pixonic an additional layer method of balancing the game too, uh, and the bots, right? So if a bot is too powerful, maybe they just need to scratch a certain module or change some modules, and now suddenly in the meta of the game, the robot is more up in its level with other robots as well, you know? And um, and that's what they're going to work on. That's why they need your feedback for that over time when this feature comes to the game. Um, like with weapons, uh, you can... Uh you cannot shift and slot. You cannot make an A slot be an S slot, for example. They are 
predefined. They're hard slots, you can't change them, like weapons. You cannot make the Rogatka use three or two heavy weapons, it's just gonna have two medium weapons, you know? Same here. Uh, with modules, you can make a Lance Lancelot a real tanky fortress with less damage output, for example, or the opposite, right? It depends on what modules you use and equip to this robot. So it depends on how you want to play this bot and um, fit it your playstyle. How do you get modules? Okay, a very important question. Standard robots come with standard modules. That's one way of getting them. There's sh uh, going to be a shop, a third button after robots and weapons. So you can buy robots right now. You can buy weapons right now. And you will be able to buy modules as a third slot. And then there's going to be Black Market and War Robot Royale where you can get these modules too. There's going to be more valuable ro uh, modules, less valuable, less rare or much more rare modules and there's gonna be the workshop 2.0 which will allow you to craft modules directly same as you will be able to craft high chi components in the workshop 2.0 um, you will be able to craft yourself modules with this too once again more information about in the i button on the upper right corner about the workshop 2.0 so offensive module examples right here guys there are more than this that's just examples energized ammo every axe damage has a y chance to root the target as an example as i said before the more damage output the better the chance or the rather the more uh, the more often you hit the better the chance who knows right um squad leader enemies within the certain radius will take more damage from your allies you buff your allies with this squad leader module then mark death mark as an offensive perk deal x damage to an enemy to mark him for death uh, which puts a debuff on him um, or a negative effect that will increase the damage done to this enemy by your friends okay so that's why you mark him for that you see a very powerful bot you mark you make a death mark on him by dealing a certain amount of damage now your friends will have an easier time dealing with this certain enemies and of course your friends will see that this enemy is marked for death taking more damage right so it's building a more attractive target to your enemies it will also allow you to make your friends without speaking about it focus somebody you give this mark and they will automatically focus this guy because he takes more damage right so defensive module examples guy there are more of course but here lifesaver is one defensive reduces damage taken for a short short period of time the more damage you receive the more you will absorb with this to a certain point battleborn after spawning you receive a buff to, re to be more resistance for a certain amount of time especially useful when you rush a beacon rush uh, uh, and with a strider for example take the beacon then die very quickly and then you respawn at that beacon under attack under pressure directly uh, and to defend this beacon then you will have after this quick respawn this uh, certain uh, you know um resistance to damage uh, for a certain amount of time now once again we're saying the word resistance more about resistance later it's a very important thing berserker when a robot receives a lethal strike like the last d thing where you you take a lethal hit and you're now destroyed uh, its hp freezes at one makes the robot immune to all damage type for a few seconds and control effects for a certain amount of time and then after that that's the that's the effect that we have sp spoken about before as a um, as a defensive module right where you get left alive with like one HP for a few seconds invincibility and then uh, it goes back to normal mode and uh, you have a second chance kind of um, then spe uh, special module examples there are more of course once again here but the repair unit repair a certain amount of your robots uh, percentage of your HP but taking any damage will stop your repair um, example and I love that he done that the uh, the the community uh, the elite game designer here this guy he brought the example from Jacket Alliance and this is so cool because I played Jacket Alliance like so much in my time uh, a, a few years ago I love the game still uh, basically you remember when you your soldier when your soldiers get wounded there in the game you lose maximum HP right you lose your HP and you also have a certain amount of maximum HP you can bet get healed back up to you cannot get healed back up the 100% because you were wounded too much for this but you will be able to heal yourself back up to let's say 80% for example okay 
Just as an example on how this works, because the repair unit will not be able to heal you to 100%. Uh, but back to a certain amount of HP, uh, that still benefits you uh, you greatly, okay? Then there's going to be the diffraction bomb. Active ability that creates a special zone around your bot in which the robot cannot be targeted, but it can also not target enemies. So you serve as a big decoy, as a distraction to the enemy team, which can't do anything with you, but maybe they're going to get killed by your team in the meantime, right? Then spy. Crazy ability. Ability, passive ability if the robot it's gonna be a passive ability guys um, if the robot has not received damage for a certain amount of time it will active spy mode and show up as a friendly to the enemy if they don't pay attention they will probably mistake you for one of them uh, your own team still sees you as a friendly regardless during spy mode the uh, the enemy cannot be target it cannot target you but it can still receive but you can still receive damage once receiving damage the disguise of being like displaying uh, to the enemy team as one of their own is gonna be uh, lost and it disappears the ability can only activate once every such and such uh, seconds um, maybe once every two minutes or something like that or once every every minute and uh, you know only after you receive no damage for a certain amount of time to me personally, that sounds pretty unfair because remember that there's weapons like Scourge, Zeus, Ion that cannot fire at an enemy when unable to target or lock onto him. So even if you know this guy right there is a spy of the enemy team, you can't do anything against him. He will just kill you just because you have a weapon like a Scourge or an Ion that cannot lock onto him. I don't think that's uh, th that needs to be thought through a little bit more. I think, um, but yeah. So this is this is the spy ability. Attacking drone launches AI controlled robot robot drones that stick to your bot and uh, target or attack enemies inside your attack range, prioritizing the target that you have locked onto with your robot. Repair drone launches AI controlled robot drones that stick to your robot and repair your robot for X amount of time with X amount of maximum HP of your robot. Um, and if it's full, then it re even repairs friendly robots, which is cool. Bumblebee launches a rocket, and that's really cool, I want that perk. Bumblebee launches a rocket that uh, that the player can guide into the target manually. So you can hit guys around cover that not even your Hydras can hit, and you can launch this once every minute or whatever, kind of, I don't know, um, uh, the, the this big rockets, and player skill will determine the effectiveness of this special. Sounds pretty good to me. Um, airstrike. Change, uh, charges when dealing damage to the enemy. Same as in Call of Duty, for example, you kill such and such amount of enemies. In this case here, you deal such and such amounts of damage to the enemy team, and you charge up the airstrike ability when it's full. You can trigger an area, a large area of effect or AOE, uh, you know, strike with uh, massive splash damage in a certain area. And, uh, you know, locked uh, at the target region or at the target that you locked onto. And it will also hit friendlies and enemies. And I th think there's going to be a notification for everyone. Now, there's going to be, I told you a few, oops, a few times already, there are new mechanics like resistance and armor penetration. Let me quickly inform you what this is because it's very important, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, resistances to damage types will be coming too. You may, for example, be able to increase your robot's resistance to rocket damage, but remain fully vulnerable to plasma damage as an example. Okay, I'm gonna give you here a few examples. For example, a Bulgazari or Lancelot or Garrett with physical shields will probably go for a rocket resistance because they are, they have their, their physical shield blocks energy damage and blocks projectiles and it, it, it certainly blocks the, the plasma weapon damage, right? But what's really a problem to them is rockets. So they will most likely go for a rocket resistance, right? And, uh, and, 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 and just increase their survivability against their most damaging type of damage type. Yeah, you know what I mean. A Carnage, for example, wanna, probably wants to go for an increased resistance against energy or plasma because it has so low HP and that's what kills it most of the time. Just a few examples. Now, that's about resistance. Armor penetration is the opposite of resistance, uh, where resistance can, your enemy can have a resistance, so you cannot deal damage so well with your rockets against him. But there's going to be armor penetration, which will be coming as well, and uh, your enemy can, uh, and basically it is the opposite. You can add more resistance bypass 
to a certain damage type you use. For example, you're using rockets. You can make your rockets bypass enemy resistance on his robot. So um, that's to counter the resistance of the enemy, right? That's armor penetration. So, and uh, here at the last point, last but not least, a few priorities that Pixonic has really in mind right now when going about these changes coming. Um, they want to balance the game, okay? That, that's really important to them. Uh, every new content will go through many test server sessions to make sure the balancing is done right. Okay, they don't want to have, you know, something like a shock train Bulgazari anymore that really just completely destroys game balancing at a certain point where, where it's really so dominant you can almost not deal with this bot. They want to make sure to balance things right, okay? So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, th that's one of the big things they keep in mind. User interface, user experience, okay? Must known. Uh, must know things will be clear to you, okay? You will see indicators about incoming orbital strikes, about enemy resistance to see if he is too tough for you to handle alone. You will see drones around the enemy, uh, repair drones or attacking drones, but you will not see if the enemy has a repair module inside he can activate safely or if he has a spy module. That's the stuff you may not be able to see. So they want to make sure that it's balanced also in here so that certain things you need to know about, you need to know, you will know, but things you don't, you, you, they can and should be hidden, will be hidden, okay? Um, and this, this will happen with cooperation with the community on test servers and getting feedback. So once again, feedback, very important, ladies and gentlemen. And the third and most important, or one of the more important prior priorities is also fun, okay? Focus is to ensure the fun factor, not encourage passive gameplay, uh, but uh, to actually do the opposite, not encourage cowardness, but actually increase fun and active playstyle and make it less frustrating, okay? So, um, thanks you guys for this awesome interview, and uh, here is one more picture they have taken here where uh, you will be able to sort in, in a re new redesigned shop, for example, or also in your already existing weapon. Uh, you will be able to sort a, a weapon categories okay kinetic right projectiles then maybe i don't know lock on weapons then rocket splash damage and whatever this is so or this could be plasma and this is probably i don't know you know stuff like that this is you will be able to sort your weapons through category systems and have filters applied to it so that's really cool i like that um and like most of these things and i'm a little bit afraid of a few things like this spy perk sounds really crazy especially when you run like scourge but um that's it uh i uh, the video has gone much longer than i wanted but i was hopefully able to you know summarize things still make it more compact and give you a very clear and good representation of things that are about to come and they're working on and once again feedback very important give it please and i'm just going to say thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a like and comment down below and if you haven't already hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more thanks for bearing with me you guys are awesome as always money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.